my gosh. Well, it's actually unbelievably turned into a fairly nice day here in the end times in the Catskill Mountains on this now at least little bit sunnier, bright, cloudy Tuesday afternoon in the end times. Tuesday, uh, Jan, listen to me, I keep doing it. It is June, Hamone. It is not January. It is June. I understand you keep thinking it is January, but it really is June, and I think it's June 26, 2019, or somewhere around there and you know guys I'm just doing what I do I'm, I'm heading out again just trying to figure out my life and uh, whether I want to be here in the Catskills or outside of Ithaca or whatever uh, you know just making my my little plans for the future you know, he's a real nowhere man in this nowhere land. Yeah, uh, so I have, good Lord, I, I have spent, you know, for seven straight hours I have been dealing with being a uh, YouTube star. Seven more hours of my life dealing with this fucking computer and whatnot. So I just had this long inter this hour-long interview with this climatologist uh, a glaciologist I guess might be a better term this fellow named Jonathan Bamber for over uh, over at University of Bristol and you know this man uh, is no clueless moron he uh, he spends his entire life looking at ice melt. Ice melt uh, and sea level rise. Uh, it's hard to look at one without looking at the other, I guess. And so that, you know, th th this is a university level trained glaciologist, uh, founder of the scientific journal, the cryosphere, whatnot, clearly not a, a clueless moron and he told me that he thinks we might see our first blue ocean event in the 2040s. And I did warn him that he was going to get a lot of pushback here in the Doomosphere for making that comment. You know, a bunch of people like myself and, and like people that I don't mention very often on this channel who have never taken a climatology course in their entire life, as far as I know, never listened to one hour, know more about it than uh, the former editor-in-chief of the cryosphere, who spends his entire life looking at melting polar ice caps and the effects on climate and sea level rise and whatnot. So if he says uh, we're going to see our first blue ocean event who the hell am I to argue and then of course as I mentioned to him as I I just put this over at Collapse Chronicles uh, on the very day that that he is saying this and I listen to the man he knows a hell of a lot more about it than anyone writing comments calling him a clueless fucking moron uh, Jonathan Bamber knows a hell of a lot more uh, about the situation of melting polar ice caps and anybody uh, on Collapse Chronicles who's going to uh, call him a clueless moron. And that being said, then of course the Collapse Chronicles that I just read out, if you go over to that channel, you will find another university level uh, climatologist. This is uh, James Anderson at Harvard University, not not to be confused with the more famous Kevin Anderson or the more famous James Hansen. This is James Anderson. Clearly, uh, Harvard University does not offer 
you know, turnip seeds who fell off the truck uh, in Texas. And this man is saying that uh, what, it, I, this is pretty much an exact quote by this man that uh, the, the chances of there being any, any permanent ice left in the Arctic by the year 2022 is essentially zero. And, and, and he didn't even limit it to summer sea ice. So uh, James Anderson at Harvard is saying we are going to be solidly into the blue ocean event uh, in three years that we're going to be completely fucked. Uh, so, so there you go. What the hell are we supposed to do with this? You know, uh, it's just where you can you can go down here in the doomosphere, uh, just kind of as as uh, as Jonathan Bamber was admitting that you can you know just you can confirm your bias uh, if you want to find a university trained. Uh, professor uh, claiming we're going to have an ice-free Arctic in the year 2022. You can find them. If you want to find one saying the uh, the 2040s, you can find one. You can probably find one saying it in the year 2500. You know, and, and James uh, uh, Jonathan Bamber, uh, you know, is talking about, well, you know, Peter Wadhams. Here, here's another uh, trained climatologist who knows all about this subject, you know, who was claiming in, in 2012 that we were going to be ice free within three years. And here we are seven years later and it hasn't happened. So this is why I live with two, uh, you know, with a foot in both worlds. This is why for you know seven hours a day I, I spend my life talking about how we are completely totally fucked and then I turn off my computer I walk outside I fire up my gas sucking truck and I head out uh, in, you know looking for a place uh, to buy or build a house you know, to to flip houses and make a few dollars, uh, you know, looking for real estate, looking for a damn girlfriend to start a new relationship. Uh, you know, what else can you do? Uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Uh, when this shit is, is, is you know, is literally going to hit the fan. The, the shit has been hitting the fan since about 1970. The uh, feces has been flying at an ever more exponential rate. And here I am driving down this nicely paved road uh, in, in my brand new better gas sucking truck. Uh, the internet's up and running. Uh, the prices at the grocery store were pretty damn cheap yesterday. I paid a buck ninety-nine for my uh, for my limeade, for my margaritas. Y you know, it's uh, it looks pretty much like it did when I was in college. You know, to to the untrained eye. And you know, and as Jonathan as I were were talking about. Uh, like, like, who cares at this point uh, if we see our first blue ocean event, whether it's 2022 or, or 2042, what real difference does it make to, uh, to global industrial civilization, uh, humanity, and the planet? A difference of 20 years. No, it doesn't make any difference from... Uh, from, from any of those perspectives, but it does make it, uh, you know, quite a bit of difference to someone getting ready to turn 60 years old. It, ma it makes a shitload of a difference. 
uh, of weather, this whole fucking uh, house of cards is going to crash and burn uh, in, in three years or 30 years. Is the difference? Am, am I going to be 63 or am I going to be 90? There's a hell of a lot better chance I'm going to be dead at age 90 uh, than at you know than at 63. So obviously, uh, I'm uh, I I am not eliminating uh, all possibility of 2022. Although I'm sure as hell not one of these near-term human extinction. Uh, people. I, as much as I wish humans were going to be extinct uh, by 2026 or whatever they're saying now, I can't, you know, that number moves around every day I check in with those idiots, uh, whether it's yesterday, tomorrow, next week, wh whatever. Uh, <laughs> You know, so I, I don't believe that we're going to be extinct. However, uh, I certainly do not rule out the fact that uh, th this whole thing could come uh, could come crashing down on us. Uh, certainly, in in my lifetime. Uh, but but until it does, and just you know, just hoping. Uh, that I'm going to get out of here, as I've been saying uh, all along. I'm just hoping that, that I'm going to uh, get out of here with the screen door just hitting me on my guilty ass uh, on the way out, that I'm going to make it out of here the day before this whole fucking house of cards comes down. Uh, and, and, and that's all of that's all that any of us can do. Now, obviously, the older you are, uh, probably the brighter your hopes uh, that you're going to get the hell out of here before it all comes crashing down. Because, man, if I were in, if I was getting ready to turn 20 and getting instead of getting ready to turn 60. Uh, you know, I would be trying to get a date with Greta Thunberg on Pile of Fish. Jesus. Anywho, I'm, uh, I heard some rumor that there's, there, there might be some work, some $15 an hour work up at, uh, this old house up here. So I'm out here putting my uh, five years of college and my real estate licenses in three states to work here in the end times, trying to find a short-term $15 an hour gig in the Catskill Mountains uh, and grab my $15 an hour while I still can. And I highly advise you do the same. Bye guys.